at first your body, you look very high, like you're up here. Okay. And your, your neck is just a bit forward. So can you tip your hips under just a bit, bring your pelvis forward, imagine the back of your head hanging, and just slur it. Just like that. Good, so your sound is already bigger. Yeah. Excellent. Now, in terms of diction and color and uh, articulation, so the way you articulated that would not transfer to the back of a big hall. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. So you need more tia, tia, tia. Got it. Coming up. Sure here too. That's what you did in macro example. Right. My air is actually still moving between those tapers. Yeah, and really feel like there's a ribbon of air that, that is like consistent, okay. even though we don't hear it as a ribbon of air. Okay. So you're gonna feed it forward. make it even better. So to make it more distinct, I want the first note to have a more saturated color. Okay, so maybe thinking, raise the tongue, bring it forward, bring the top lip down, and then place the, um, place the resonance probably sort of up here, but not even that high. I would place it like right below your nose. Go ahead and take your finger and just put it right there. You want to feel it right there. Can you hear that quality? Yeah. That's all like right here. Oh. So now we have this sound and we have this taper and we have this sense of ribboning which will assist with the overall contour. Okay. Right? So if you put them all together. And there's that sound. Yeah. It's like it, it wanted to come forth the whole time. And if you keep it in that location, then it's going to be waiting for you. And, and that's where the con continuity of air helps because you're not shifting around as you move up and down. You're, you're maintaining, but you're just tapping the air. Yeah. Try it. Okay. <laughs> do, do a long tone first, Sammy, maybe um, on G and then one on E flat. Keep it there, connect it, keep up, there it is, keep the lips forward. 